we're gonna read this cool book right here. It's called Turk and Runt. It's a really cute book, and we're gonna use some inferencing skills, and we're going to see if we know what's gonna happen at the end before it happens, all right? Turk and Runt, story by Lisa Wheeler, pictures by Frank Ansley. Turk's parents were so proud of him. He was the biggest, strongest, and most graceful bird on Wishbone Farm. He's a dancer, said his mother. He's an athlete, said his father. He's a goner, said his brother, Runt. But no one ever listened to Runt. Every year, the farm animals looked forward to the excitement of autumn. Carloads of people came to pick red, ripe apples from the orchard in September. Folks arrived to choose plump orange pumpkins from the field in October. And come November, it was turkey time. One by one, the fattest, roundest turkeys were chosen. Chosen for what? asked Turk. To be the lead dancer in Swan Lake, said his mother. To play in the Thanksgiving Day football game, said his father. To be roasted and gently basted, said his brother, Runt. But no one ever listened to Runt. So every morning in November, the family watched Turk practice his dance steps. One, two, three, lift. And every afternoon, the family watched Turk practice his football moves. 16, 23, 47, hike! He's getting stronger, said his mother. He's getting bigger, said his father. He's getting juicier, said Runt. Two days before Thanksgiving, Madame Waddell, the famous ballet instructor, arrived at Wishbone Farm. She came to choose a turkey. Oh, an audition, Mother squealed. It's your time to shine. Go out there and shake those tail feathers. Turk gracefully danced to the front of the barnyard. He leaped, he spun, he twirled and whirled, and he did a triple somersault and landed in a split. Look at the size of these drumsticks, said Madame Waddell. That is a beautiful bird. Mother beamed. Father puffed out his feathers with pride. Runt puffed out his feathers too. Then... He threw himself on the ground. He flapped. He flopped. He hissed and sputtered. He gobbled like a maniac. He chased Madame Waddell out of the barnyard. Sacre bleu, screamed Madame Waddell. These birds are crazy. Then she drove far, far away from Wishbone Farm. No Swan Lake, cried Mother. No starring roll, cried Father. No roasted Turk with chestnut dressing, cried Runt. Hooray! But no one ever listened to Runt. The day before Thanksgiving, Coach Giblet of the Crow City Corn Shuckers came to pick out a turkey. This is your big chance, said Father. Get out there and strut your stuff. Turk sprinted to the front of the barnyard. He bobbed, he weaved, he tackled and dived. He mowed down every turkey who got in his way. Well, that's one healthy looking bird, said Coach Giblet. Only the biggest and the best for my team. Father grinned proudly. 
Mother got tears in her eyes. Runt got tears in his eyes, too. Then his beak began to drip. He coughed. He wheezed. He sniffled and sneezed. He fell to the ground in a hacking fit of quivering feathers. Good gravy, shouted the coach as he hopped back into the team bus. These are very sick birds. The corn shuckers deserve better. Then he sped far, far away from Wishbone Farm. No football contract, cried father. No TV commercials, cried mother. No turk sandwich with cranberry sauce, cried Runt. Hooray! But no one ever listened to Runt. It was Thanksgiving morning. Turk's family heard the put 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 of a little old car. Out of the car climbed a little old lady. Maybe she's a little old talent scout, said father. Maybe she's a little old dance instructor, said mother. I hope she's a little old vegetarian, said Runt. Father and mother pushed Turk to the front of the barnyard. Show her what you've got. But before Turk could perform even one pirouette, the little old lady scooted him aside. Aha! she exclaimed, pointing at Runt. Exactly what I've been looking for. This bird is just the right size for me. What? cried mother. Him? cried father. Help! cried Runt. But no one ever listened to Runt. So he ran. He ran behind father. Don't let her eat me. He ran behind mother. Hide me! Hide me! He ran behind Turk. I'm too young to be basted. Turk saw the look in the little old lady's eyes. He saw the drool on her lips. He saw the fork in the little old lady's pocket. He saw the roasting pan in her back seat. Runt had been right all along. Work with me, Runt, Turk instructed, or your goose is cooked. Turk bobbed and weaved. Runt flapped and drooled. Turk leaped and twirled. Runt coughed and wheezed. Runt gobbled like a maniac, while Turk dived down and tackled the little old lady's shoes. Oh, stuff and nonsense, cried the little old lady, climbing back into her car. I wouldn't eat these birds if they were the last turkeys on earth. That day, as the family feasted on corn and alfalfa, they had much to be thankful for. I'm thankful we're all together, said mother. I'm thankful for two brave sons, said father. I'm thankful for such a smart brother said Turk. We're not out of the woods yet, Runt warned. Come December, folks began planning their holiday dinners. Dinners that include stuffing? asked Mother. Dinners that include gravy? asked Father. Dinners that include m m me? asked Turk. Over my feathered body, Runt said. We're not plucked yet. I have a grade A plan. And this time, everyone listened to Runt. <laughs> Look at them. The end.